Life expectancy is a topic of utmost importance. We owe a large degree to our high life expectancy to the invention of free markets. Free markets created the Industrial Revolution. In countries with free markets, we saw such inventions as the locomotive, the telegraph, the telephone, and many other innovative inventions. Medical advancements grew in that short period of time by leaps and bounds ahead of previous generations. In the period of 1751 to 1790, before the widespread adoption of Adam Smith's theory, the average male at birth would only live to see age 33. Medical advancements in that short period of time grew by leaps and bounds. In the period of 1751 to about 1790, before the widespread adoption of Smith's theory, the average male at birth would only live to see age 33, the average woman being 36. By 1815, a whole 39 years after Smith published The Wealth of Nations, the male life expectancy had risen to 35 and 38 for women. In 1861, men could live to see the age of 42 and women 44. Before the inventions of free markets, one would be lucky to live to 33. In the United States, a nation where most would consider the golden child of free markets, life expectancy rose from age 39 in 1860 to 44 in 1890. Free markets allowed for inventors, doctors, and scientists to take risks and create procedures and technologies unheard by previous generations. Germ theory, sterilization, anesthesia, and other such inventions transformed the world. Urbanization, and yes, factories, had problems, yet so did rural life. Farming was a dangerous activity. When people started moving to the cities, they saw it as an opportunity to make more relative to the farmer, all in equal or less time. The rose-colored glasses of our modern perspective poisons the reality of 19th and 18th century farming, backbreaking work and hazardous work, for little or no benefit outside of subsistence. Cities were not as ideal as we see them today, yet it was a step in the right direction to what we see today. We owe a large degree of our increased life expectancy and idea our lives to free markets.